Welcome back to Mountain Views. Living in a beautiful place like Park City, it's hard not to take the beauty that we see all around us onto the canvas, into photographs, into video, into paintings in many different places. And tonight, we're going to visit with an artist from Ogden who does just that with his camera. Please welcome Richard Caldwell. Richard, how are you? Pleasure to be here. Nice to see you. So before we get to photography, which of course is the activity that has led you here to our Mountain Views couch, tell us a little bit about your background and, and your early life and, and how art figured into that. Well, I uh, was born in Ann Arbor, Michigan and raised there. Grew up uh, with a, the good culture of a big university and great sports and great music and things like that. And, uh, but for some reason, I had a hunkering for the big view of the West. And uh, I ended up going to the University of Utah. And I fell in love with the mountains and being able to see for 100 miles from the mountain peaks. And I was very uh, fortunate that my dad, as a gift going off to college, bought me a camera. And I skied with the camera almost every day. And it turned out to be a blessing for me because even though I've never had any formal training, taking so many pictures, I ended up developing an eye that captured some images that people seem to like. And more than anything, I take pictures because it, it's part of my spirit. And um, sure. 25 years later, I'm still taking pictures. That's excellent. So, so college freshman, more or less, that, that you first started taking photographs and were you did you develop your own in those days or um, I never was into the developing I always took them to a photo lab but uh, I uh, uh, was very pleased with what I, I, I obtained and ended up not throwing away very many pictures so I just kept taking them and taking them and in about 2001 with the digital revolution I went digital and that's been a, a fun thing because Every day is like Christmas, you can develop it instantly. And you have a lot of creative control over what the ultimate image looks like. So it's been a lot of fun. There's no question about it. So now I understand that, that after you got out of school, you went back east or, or back to the Midwest anyway and sp spent time there before, is that right? I did. Um, I, a girl in high school that I knew, we fell in love and I went back and we got married and spent 20 years back in Michigan. And uh, I always had a dream uh, every year I would come out skiing in Colorado or back to Utah. It seemed like a second home at University of Utah. But I made a vow to myself that I was going to see the 2002 Olympics. And uh, so I made that happen. And in 2001, the fall, I moved out here to Utah and uh, worked as a ski instructor at Snow Basin, uh, which is a fabulous ski area, and saw the Olympics and uh, never left. Good for you. Good for you. So, so once you were back here, was photography, was that number one on your list of, of things to do as far as how you were going to spend your time? Um, yes and no. I was, I'm also a real estate broker in Michigan and here in Utah. Uh, and uh, I've been very successful at that. However, going out in the middle of nowhere and getting lost in beautiful places at dawn and at dusk is my real passion. So I continue to do that, and it has turned into a vocation, but it certainly started out as a passion. And uh, I found that if I can keep it a passion and not worry about the vocation, that the vocation seems to happen. No question. That's very, very true. So, so tell us, you, you gave me a little bit of the anecdote of how it went from, because, hey, we all take pictures, right? I mean, the, the camera is a ubiquitous tool nowadays, but, but to go from something that you do for fun to being in business, as it were. Tell us how that happened for you. Well, over the years, uh, I'd share my pictures with friends, and somebody would say, well, I'd really like a copy of that, so I'd make them a print, and maybe a few years later, I got up the nerve to say, I'm going to charge you for this print. And, uh, but how it really started for me was uh, about six years ago in 05, I was teaching skiing at Snow Basin, and of course, I'd have to arrive there early, and uh, I was up there you know, before the light came up, and uh, trying to photograph the moon, which is something, a passion of mine, the moon. And um, uh, the moon set behind the mountain before the sun came up, and I thought I was all done. So I started driving away to head to where I had to go to for the ski school. And my orientation changed, and so did the moon, so the moon was still up. And so I took a photograph of the moon and 
while I was there, I said, well, I might as well take a photograph in the middle of the ski area, and I might as well take a photograph of the left side of the ski area. And uh, I ended up calling a photo lab to get a few, a little bit of instruction about how do I put this panoramic together? And after, uh, I didn't need that much help, but with a little bit of insight on how to put them all in one place, I was off and running. And so I created this panoramic of uh, a full moon setting over snow basin at sunrise rising behind me. And so I made one print of it and put it in a little tube. It was four feet long and eight inches high and I'd ski around and go up the gondola and share it with people and gosh darn if almost everybody didn't want a copy of it. And so that's really what got me off and running. And now it's more about just going out in the middle of nowhere, getting lost in the desert or in the mountains or unique places I've never been and just enjoying life basically. Excellent. So taking the camera along and doing what you'd be otherwise doing anyway, huh? Absolutely. Excellent. So where are you at now as far as, as kind of the business side of it? Is, is it something you're actively pursuing as trying to grow the business, trying to grow your name, or, or are you just kind of happy with, with where you're at? Well, I found that one always has to, we all want to grow and we all want to improve and we all need to pay our bills, but more than anything, I'm happy with taking pictures from my own spiritual growth or awareness or happiness and uh, to let sales just uh, happen as they may. Um, but I'm excited to be here talking to you because this promotes me to a large audience that's never been exposed to me before. Sure. So I do really appreciate being here talking with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Have you found your, your subject matter has changed? Are you still primarily outdoors? Are you doing things different than, than you used to? I'm pretty much outdoors. Uh, uh, I do a lot of candid photography of people, but I am not a portrait photographer. I'm n definitely not a wedding photographer. <laughs> um, I still create panoramics where they um, make sense to me. I don't photograph everything. Um, I've also branched off skiing so often to have the opportunity to photograph for Diamond Peaks heli skiing. And that's been a real joy, uh, not only to follow my passion for photography, but uh, ski with clients that want to document their adventure. And the, one of the neat parts about that is I get to go first in the powder, and they get to come down to me, and I get to capture their smile. And so these, this is a, an adventure for them that they get to keep forever. So. Good stuff. And, Things and like that. Good for you in, in both regards. Good mm -hmm. for business and first out of the helicopter. Got to be good. Absolutely. Good for you. Well, Richard, we love your work. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate having you on. Best of luck to you. And uh, I'm sure that we'll be seeing more of your stuff very soon. Absolutely. And, uh, and come back and see us I again. I think we're going to have to decorate new. the rest of your uh, Park City Television studio with some of my images. Richard, I think that's not a bad idea you got there. Thanks for having me. Thanks again. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with weather, more Folka Dots, and more stories right here on Mountain Views. Stay tuned.